Today, I'm going to show you how to save your phone's contact onto an external drive like an SD card or just onto your computer just in case you lost or broke your phone. And then I'm going to show you how to import it back to your new phone. So let's get started. So first, before we start, you'll have to use a USB-C cable to connect your phone to your computer. The USB-C cable is just a phone charger in which you have to remove the plug and then connect it onto your computer and to your phone so that you can so that both of both the devices are connected. So let me just plug in my phone. And as you can see, we've got this message that says I'm using USB to transfer files. It's asking me to give access. You have to just allow access. In different, in different phones, there are different um, messages. You just have to tap on the right um, option. And then on your computer, you'll find this internal shared storage right here on your computer. It'll automatically open up. If it doesn't open up, you can go to this PC. And here you'll find your phone's name right here. So just open it up and then you can open it, open this up right here. Now you just have to keep this page open. And back on your phone, tap on your contacts um, app, open it up, your contacts app. And then after your contacts app has opened up, tap on the three dots right here and then open up settings. After you've opened up settings, you'll have to hunt for the option import. You'll find it anywhere right here. I've got mine right here. You'll have to search for export, not import. Tap on export. And here you'll find a bunch of different options. You'll have to tap on device and then tap on export to VCF file. Right now, I'm showing you how to export your contacts onto your computer. And then after that, I'll show you how to export your contacts onto an SD card so you can keep that SD card away safely. And then if you lose your phone, you can you can buy a new phone and then insert the SD card to get all your contacts. So now you have to just rename your file right here and then save it right here on your computer, on your phone storage, save it. And then back on your and then back on your computer, you'll have to open up the folder, this internal shared storage folder. And then here you'll have to search for the um, you have to search contacts or whatever you renamed in the phone. Like earlier, I showed you, I renamed it to contacts.vcf. So now I'm just gonna type in search for contacts, and let's see if it's saved. Right here, as you can see, it says contacts. You have to right click on it, and then click on open file location. Here, as you can see, it's showing up this contacts vc file. This is the v calendar file, vc file. Now here, you can just right click on it and then copy it. I just want to say you guys that while you're re renaming the VCF file on your phone, you can rename it to anything you want. As soon as you've renamed it, you'll have to type whatever you renamed in the search bar. I renamed it to contact, so I searched contact. You might have um, put something else like um, Samsung's contact or whatever you renamed that file to. You'll have to search that in the search bar. As soon as you search that, you'll right click on it and then open file location. And then as soon as you've seen this page, you'll have to right click and then copy. And then back go to your desktop and then create a new folder and then you can save it anywhere on your computer i'm going to save it on my desktop and i'm going to rename this to contacts so let me rename this into contacts and just double click on that and then paste in your vcf file so now all your contacts that are there on your phone is safely saved right here now let me show you how to import it from the desktop right here onto your phone so now let's say you lost your phone and you've got a new phone and now you want to just um, import all that contact from your computer to your phone. Plug in your phone again and then from your computer you'll have to right click and then copy the VCF file. Go back to your phone, go back to your new phone's um, um, storage file right here. Mine is this one. It's not the new phone, it's the same phone. I'm just going to show you to demonstrate how it works. And you can paste it anywhere you want. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to paste that one, the one I copied paste and then back on your phone you'll have to go back to settings scroll down until you find import this time it's import not export tap on import and then tap on vcf file and then tap on ok scroll down and then tap on device and then and then you'll have to um, select the vcf file by scrolling down until you find it mine is right there contacts.vcf tap on it and then it'll start importing all that contact. So just wait. It might show up in the top that it's importing. Right As you can see, it's importing right now. It says 100%. And then after it's done, you can go back. 
and then you'll find all your contacts imported onto your new phone. And yeah guys, that's how you import and export contacts onto your computer and then from the computer back to your phone. Now I'm going to show you how to import and export from an SD card by exporting onto an SD card and then importing it back from the SD card onto your new phone. Alright, now I'm, I'm back in another phone in which I'm going to show you how to import and export your contacts from an SD card. So I just inserted an SD card. So now to export your contacts onto that SD card and then remove it and then keep it safely just in case the f your you lost your phone or you broke your phone and you want to just um, you know get back your contact from the SD card in which you saved your contacts. Open up the contact app and then here just click on the three dots and then open up settings and here you'll find import export. Tap on that and then from here you'll have to tap on export. So tap on export to storage. You can even export it onto your SIM card, but I'm gonna, uh, you can even share your contacts on WhatsApp or Google Drive or something like that. You can save a VS VCF file on your computer via Google Drive or something like that, so you can import it easily from Google Drive as well. But for now, I'm going to save it onto um, SD card. Just tap on export to storage, and here you have to you, your memory card number will show up right here. So I'm just going to tap on export. And then it will start exporting. You'll have to select um, the apps from which your contacts has to be exported. So I'm just going to tap um, phone, signal, WhatsApp, and all of these. And then from here, you just have to tap on OK. And it says that it's exporting contacts. And now successfully it's exported contacts onto my SD card. Now to import it, from, um, so let's say you just bought another phone and you want and you just plugged in the SD card, you inserted the SD card and you want to import the contacts you saved, tap on import from storage this time and then from here you have to tap on in import from phone, right here it says, so you have to tap on that and then just wait for it to search for the vCard data, it will search for all the VCF files and here it's, it's showing up two of them, the one I had done earlier, that's like yesterday or something. And then when I just and the VS VCF file I just made right now. So tap on the one you just want, like the one you saved. Tap on OK. And then right now it's importing the contacts. It might take a few seconds. We'll just have to wait for it to import it. And then you can just go back. And you'll find all your contacts being imported onto your phone right here. And yeah guys, yeah, that's the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share with your friends so that you can help out a friend in saving contacts just in case they lose their phones. And if you want me to make more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel to help me make more videos like this. And yeah guys, that's all I've got to say. See you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.